Welcome to Life with Lori, coming to you live from Studio C at Morningside. And now, here's your host, Lori Graham Baker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Life with Lori. Like Penny said, here we are at Studio C. This is the Phoenix set. And I am so excited because I have a very, very special guest, the most special guest. But before I get to my special guest, I just want to give a shout out to Phoenix, Arizona. We have gone to, with the Jim Baker Show, Channel 45 on your local cable networks, KUTP in Phoenix, Arizona, 6 a.m. I am so excited. Hey. Bobby, my best friend, has never been able to watch me on her cable. Bobby, you can watch now. KUTV, Channel 45 in Phoenix, Arizona, 6 a.m. Go to your local cable. Tell your family. Tell your friends. There's millions of you out there, and that is where I was born and raised. And that is why we do our show, my show, from what we call the Phoenix set. So without further ado, I want to introduce my very, very most special guest I'll ever have. This one, and then my mom, she'll be coming on one day. But this is my best friend, the love of my life. And a few weeks ago, as I was running through the Atlanta airport, a lady stopped me and she said, Lori, do you know that your husband is a national treasure? I mean, I'm rushing through the Atlanta airport. You know, they say you've got to go through Atlanta to get to heaven, the airport, that is. But I'm not kidding. It was like it was God himself speaking through this lady. It stopped me in my tracks, and I said, yes, I know he is. I want to introduce you, and I'm so grateful and honored to have my husband, my best friend, the love of my life, Jim Baker, as my guest today. Thank you, honey. I love you, baby. Being here. Happy Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, happy before. Valentine's Day, the day before. <laughs> and I'm not used to being live. I know. This is really exciting because this is how I started Christian TV. Yeah, I know it with is. With live television. It's All was live. We didn't have recorders back then. So, what did you think about this when you came in and saw my team? I have a great team here. I love this studio. Yes. This is Studio C. Yes, it is. And it's got all the different parts over there. There's, I think, New York's over Something there. Something I told, we're going to show the whole, we're going to light it all up one day and show you all the and different sets. This here. is Phoenix. This is a Phoenix set. And this is Phoenix behind us yes. here. Yes. And I I'm, born and you know, there. I know you, you he doesn't, don't. He said he wanted, didn't want to come on because he didn't want to take over my show. I said, and oh, you won't take over. It's called Life with Lori. Yes, but <laughs> I, I've got a surprise for you on Valentine's. Oh, honey, you know I don't and, like and surprises. And I mean, you, 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 you started out talking, talking about uh, our new station. Yes. And we've got new networks. Yes. I don't have time to do it no, on your show. we're going oh, we to we've got lots that. of new networks. Right. But I want to tell you, I made the decision within the last 24 hours, what? we're going to offer your show to other stations on our network. So the Lori show will be going nation and worldwide. What? Yes. I don't know if I understand that all the way. Yeah, I'm going to offer your show to all of our network stations who would like to carry your show. Oh, my. And so my heart is beating like out of my chest right now. Because I think the women need to hear you. Yeah, you know, you've I been love you've that. walked an um, unbelievable walk of your life. I really you're one of the most amazing. You've gone from hell to heaven. Yeah, you've gone from mountaintops to valleys, yes. and you've been through it all. And and we just came from a we call it a sabbatical. You call it a getting away. I said it's just a time away because it wasn't quite a vacation. It wasn't quite a sabbatical. It was a time away. And maybe away. we could talk about a little bit of, about that talk, trip. But well, we're going to talk about but, it. But you know, we have more. We have. If, if, if it's not a vacation, we have time with each other. That's right. It's, That's right. it's our time. It is our time. To just be with each other and we talk and we, <laughs> we talk. I work. Unfortunately, at, unfortunately, he had to absorb all of me. <laughs> oh, poor Jim but, Baker. <laughs> he had to hear me. Blah, 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 blah. And it's a little too much. <laughs> so we, I, we've, I know you got a big show today because you got well, lots that you, you want to say. But, but so much is happening. Well, here's the thing. We have so many great, you know, I can go through all the, the current events and we're going to talk about them. But I have to talk about this. We have to talk about Jim and I did go away for a couple weeks. And it was supposed to be 
what we call sabbatical, hear from the Lord. I did hear from the Lord. I will tell you about it. Jim heard from the Lord. He'll tell you about it. But we literally, in two weeks, honey, we went through life. We went through death. Literally, one of my dearest friends passed away. I talked to her hours before she passed. And then she went to go be with the Lord. Amber's baby was born. My niece, Aria Eloise Hill. I'm going to go meet her this afternoon. There she is. Look at that sweet little bundle of joy. Oh, I love her already. I'm in love with her. But there's another picture of her I love. That's that sweet. That's what, that was the day she came home from the hospital. Isn't that darling? It was wintertime, wintertime here. That was where she was born, right there. Aria Eloise Hill, seven pounds, eight ounces, or 20 inches long. She was born 7.44 a.m. I was, we were down in, away in, in Florida. I think the thing that people need to understand, in the same week, your best friend died. One of my two In the friends. same week, yeah. you had a, a you know. Precious Denise went to go be with Jesus. There she is, the blonde on the right. That's Wendy, my dear friend, Carrie Chuck. She'll be visiting, probably be on the show soon. And um, my precious Denise went to go be with Jesus. Only 55 years old, cancer. She battled it for many, many years. I spoke with her hours before she went to be with Jesus from our time away. So with a niece giving birth to a baby, yes. your niece who is more like your daughter because yes. you helped raise her, really. Yes. Yes. And so it was so exciting for you to have the birth of, uh, it oh, was like another grandbaby. But oh, it really, was. Your niece, I guess. Yes, she's my brother's grandniece. Yes, yes. And, and so, and I had the death of two people, Erica Coyne, who's uh, I know. one of my best workers I ever had, and right. his wife, Rosalind. Yes. They, he passed away. Yes. And I had uh, one of the greats from the Oral Roberts University, the man who heads up the new network we were building with them. Right. We were going on it. He passed away. Yes. So during our vacation, we had life, we had we, death. I was very sick, remember? I had bronchitis. I had laryngitis. They kind of liked it that I had laryngitis. I couldn't talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> I still struggled through. I even made some funny little videos for my girls. I said, hey, girls, you need to be with Dad and me down here, where we have a lot of family memories. But it, it, I bought you a little Valentine's present on the trip. Yes. And I, see, I will take over your show. And I, I don't want to do that. You can take These are your bit. flowers for These your for Valentine's Day, oh, which is tomorrow. Ladies, I have the most amazing. I have the best husband in the whole entire world. I just. Do you want your say. card? I do. Thank I haven't you. given. Look at this. I'm getting my Valentine's. Did I give it on the? You want to know why we're doing it today, everybody? Because it's live. The reason <laughs> we're doing it today is because tomorrow on Jim Baker's show, we tape all day long. <laughs> We work all day. By the time we get home, we're exhausted. We'll have a little dinner together, and then we'll can go to sleep. I, can and get I ready. show them yes. a couple things while you're opening your card? Yes, because go ahead. I brought. I, I found this on our vacation. We call yes. it vacation. Okay. And uh, so th it comes in this box. But what Lori and I have, have done is, is we sweet. buy each other presents. Yes. That. Say something every day. Every day. They're little inspirational uh, quotes or something to <clears throat> remind us. Like one time I, I bought this for this, you. And yeah. where do I where can do I you show it? Uh-huh. Look, look, can you can you guys get a close of this? I don't know. They got a I'm, close up. I'm there not used is. to your show. Line. Never ever give up. I, it's it next says. to my sink. Yes. In my bathroom. So I know he sees it every day. So every day. He brushes his teeth. <laughs> and I love it. That. I love it. It, it, it. Don't you guys think? Oh, there's people here in the studio. That oh, right, running but they're the not allowed to talk, honey. We have a quiet I, I, Oh, here. I like to hear back from people. But here's something if, for Valentine's for tomorrow. If you can find the love of your life, something that you know you can say to them every day, Never ever give. So what I gave Little Lori inspirational quote for Valentine's that I on our vacation trip, because we're up here in the mountain and honestly, yeah. I don't shop. No, neither do I. There's nowhere to shop. <laughs> And we don't it, go out shopping here. I have to shop in our little store because we um, we're trying right. to get more in, in there, so store. I have more to shop from, right? Yeah, it's our general but store. But can you get a close-up of this? This is like a little dish. He it, said, honey, these are, this is for, for your uh, hippie days. I yeah, go, isn't it? 
Can you see how bright that is? But he said it's, it, it's called. What does it say? It says, you are my sunshine. Can you, you can't and, get a close up here, right? Where, I don't know where honey, the cameras is not, are. This is a live studio. show, guys. Sorry, Jim. Let's, okay. 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 So, but th this is just Let ideas. And then I gave you another one. I, and I'm, I'll shut up now. No. But you, this is a, this is just something where she can put her rings or something. I in love it. these. But it says in the bottom of it, it says, I love you. Yeah. This is talking gifts, I call them. They are talking gifts, and we love this type of stuff to give to one another. I love to inspire you. I, I have all kinds of things in his oh. bathroom area oh. that says dream and dream big. And you may be 80 years old. I'm already saying that you're 80, I decided, because by the time now you're conceived in your mother's womb, yeah. we believe that life begins, begins at con conception. Con yes, we do. And so basically, you're 80. So I'm That's celebrating right. your 80th. And, I'll and tell you, we're crazy against abortion. I we mean, are. We are. And we're going to talk we, about we've, that. We've today. lost it when it comes to what's going on. Our right. president lost it. Yeah. The he president says He's amazing. no more. And so we have chances right now that's to right. come against abortion. Yes, we do. And come for life. Yes, we do. And you're the, I, I think you're probably the number one supporter of what you've been through. You're the number one supporter of life. Yes. And we have Janet Porter coming on my show, by the way. Yes, let me just tell you. We have a little, let me, let me tell you what we do on my show, honey. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes. We taped the Jim, the Jim Baker show yesterday for hours. You don't want to miss those shows. They were so powerful anointed with Pastor Joe, Becky, Wendy, Chris. They run Lori's house. Yeah. The, Pastor Joe was on the set. He doesn't only run Lori's house. And by the way, before I go on, honey, please, it's called Life with Lori. Um, look at sure that. Show, not look mine. at that. That's Pastor Joe kissing one of the babies at Lori's house. You can go to lorishousedog.org and find out more. Look at our precious baby. That's Becky holding one of Lori's house babies. But um, I want to thank you, Jim, because today, it's a Wednesday. We do my show live every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And the thing is, Jim, you are typically on Wednesdays, if we're not taping a Jim Baker show, which we try to save it for this show, is you're typically up on Prayer Mountain. Yes. Or you're behind the scenes getting shows ready. I got ready. boots on. You're ready to I go. High, I, high top. I know. He's going to I'm, Prayer Mountain as soon as he gets up. As soon as you let me go. Building that prayer chapel, which I want to thank I'm, everybody for helping stand oh, with us with Can I tell you something chapel. about that chapel? Yes, please. It's, it's alive with the Spirit of God. It really is. Every time, I'm going to cry. You know why I go up there every day? Why? I feel the presence of God. Yes. I seriously do. I seriously do. I go do in too. that chapel, and it's not done. No. But it's going to be done with people helping us. That's right. And I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to leave. Right. Because and I can't wait to get the pews all in, the benches or whatever you call them. Yes. You know, because it's, it's, it's a hundred and twenty year old. A lot of the material is a hundred and twenty years old. Yes. That it, we took an old chapel that, that they was going to tear it down. Mm -hmm. We moved up all the parts here, mm -hmm. and so it's so, so exciting. And you know, I brought you another present. I didn't want. Did, we're talking. We're did, all over the place, but that's I know, kind but, of how my show but, is. But. But I brought you the clock, and yes. it's there. It is. Did you see it? I brought it I, for you. I love. I this got clock. you one. You. Ha I bought you one for your bedroom. I think. I uh, have one at home, and, and I have one in my office at, here at the ministry. I love looking up at it every day. I have I'm it in, my, in office. my office, and now you and have now it. Now I your have set. it on my set. Thank you, honey, because how, we were inspired by this, by this little guy that I gave to Jim. This old disc. He was inspired by this, and he knows I love clocks. And so, and so I took that saying from from this disc mm -hmm. that I love so much. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, it's a it. You know, somebody made that statement, but it was right. never, never, ever, ever, ever give right. up something like Winston that. Winston Churchill. <laughs> yeah, Winston. <laughs> never ever give up. But what I want to do. Because if you're going to syndicate your show, yes, do you know it's it's not free? You not, know, it's not free to be on TV. No, I know. You know, and you have a whole hey. team here, right? We have now an amazing team that run this show. Yes. Human beings need to eat. Yes, they do. They, so they have to be. That's paid. right. But anyhow, anybody today who wants to give the first seed into your show of forty-five dollars, yes. we've never offered the clock by itself. 
No, we haven't. And this is really our clock because I designed this That's clock. That's right. Nobody else has this. And, and I designed it. I took your saying that you had given me. Mm -hmm. I put it on the clock. I have that in my office. Mm -hmm. So every time I look up and see what time it is, it says, never, ever give up, Jim. That's right. Amen. You like clocks. I love clocks. And so if anybody wants to order one, you can order it right now for $45. Yes. So you can call right tell now. me, why, why do you have a clock in every room? Every, I mean, this woman, <laughs> see, when you, when you know your wife or your husband or your friend, you know what they're crazy about. That's why I brought the clock today to the show. Thank cause you. You put clocks in every room. It drives me crazy. Some rooms you have two clocks. I do. I have to tell you, sometimes I have three. I know I'm a little crazy, but I, why? I like to know what time it is. Hey, there's a great old Chicago song. Does anybody know what time it is. Kind of go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We need to turn it into a Christian song. I don't know that one. It's a great song. Chicago. Every... Hey, baby boomers out there. You know what I'm talking about. Does anybody really know what time it is? Most people don't. We're running out of time in so many ways, shapes, and forms. Ministry-wise, Jesus is returning. We have to make every moment of our life count. So I'm constantly looking at the clock to remind me what time it is. What am I doing at this time every day, making every moment count, not wasting time with idleness. I even no. had a little check while we were away, honey. I watched yeah. something stupid on my phone. They were like, watch this on Netflix. I'm like, I don't even know Netflix. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I watched something that somebody suggested to watch. I said, well, I just wasted 30 minutes of my time and you know what you are doing, honey, is the sweetest thing ever. We were on the airplane. I look over, and you were studying your prison Bible on the plane. I got the yeah. picture. Boom. Throw that picture up, please. No, the picture of Jim studying the Bible on the plane. He was studying his prison Bible. You know, and I and was God's, like, look at Jim studying God this prison to Bible. You through the Bible. And he does speak to you through his word. And um, I'm sorry you don't have the picture. I thought I submitted it. It's in here. But anyway, he was studying in his prison Bible. And um, I thought about, wow, look at this. What do I keep on this set? It's under all my stuff. Sorry, guys. I keep this with me all the time. These were your prison notes, Jim, from your time away. Now, we only have a few of these left in stock, just a few. If anybody wants these notes you, with your personal writing in it, yeah. just for a gift of $10 did, to I, the ministry. I didn't know you were offering them I'm, still. We only have a few left. But, just call one 988 But I did that by hand. Yes. And because I didn't have computers. Right. But I absorbed. Try writing word the scriptures out. Right. And I wrote all That's the how, words Jesus spoke. Yes, you did. And I put them in subject matter. It, this is it, amazing. It, and then I put them in all different ways. Right. I made the them, attributes of those who serve Christ. All of them. Every one. From the prison cell of Jim Baker. From the words of Jesus. But the, and it's all the word. It's amazing. But I don't want to sell that. That's no, I know. I'm just saying to, I keep it I just want me. people to understand Right. That's the most valuable time I've had with God yeah. was in my five years in prison. Yes, I know. And people tell me, don't talk about prison. Well, prison was with a time with God. Right, how can you? God yeah. puts you together with him. That's right. In the, in the fellowship of his suffering. That's right. And you does. learn in your suffering time, and you're learning God. He wants you to know him. Yes. In the fellowship of his suffering. Amen. And... I understood he's, he's it. I understood it. To me when I say, him. God, why am I in prison? I was building a, a ministry for you, God. What? And yeah. he said, now you understand. He said, they hung me on a cross. Yeah. And I did no wrong. That's right. You know, and all of us are sinners. Right. But God loves us. And I, I just am thrilled to be here today. I have so much to we say. We have so I much to talking. say. I know because it's just. This is your show. Well, and I, I'm trying not to show. talk on no, your I show. Like, I like having you talk, honey. I, it's just a 30 minute show and we only have a few minutes left. But before my few minutes gets up, honey, I have a Valentine's gift for you. It's something that You're I did kidding. while I was on when we're our time away. We went down to a warm area. We like to go to a beach. 
So as I was walking the beach, this is what I collected. Now, let's see if you can get a close-up of this. These are my beautiful little seashells that I picked, hand-picked. If you could see these, I can't really tip them too much. There's some right there. I, I submitted that picture. I hand-picked all of these. I wish they could and see. And I put them in a heart-shaped, this is heart-shaped. Lori, how many shells do you think you picked up on the beach? Thousands. <laughs> She did. We have, Lynn, we I have even have a little thing for you. I have some shells for you, Lynn. Lynn's sitting over here, my other Maybe mother. someday we'll, yeah. we'll give you a, a special thank you gift of a uh, shell from Lori's collection. Oh, but you have If no you idea could my see shell. the handiwork of God. And we talked about look, that. That's a conch right shell, a whole a conch shell in its tight. Look at that one and Lori's I hand. I picked them all. You have to hold steady uh, to I'm, for yeah. cameras to get it. But and look at this. Can you real, get close of that? All look kept, at that. All which him and I kept saying. They're all that, different. They're all the handiwork of God. I, I tell you, when if, I saw these, yeah. and Lori would spread them all out on a table. <laughs> I'm a, that's my hobby is shelling. I love shelling because I get down along with the Lord and I'm picking up his little creations. I'm like, the Lord, these are beautiful. And it gives me time to spend with him alone and I see, listen, the night my friend Denise, I talked to her hours before she passed. She couldn't speak. She was passing from cancer. Her daughter put the phone to my, her ear. I said, hi, Denise. It's Lori. She said, ah. Oh. She tried to talk. I said, it's okay. Let me just remind you of our 10 years together as God prepared me to me and Mary, Jim Baker. I said, remember, Denise, when we went to singles? We were the singles girls. <laughs> we were Pastor Jack and Gil Wallace's girls. Then we were Pastor Tommy Barnett's girls. We were all in for God. I talked to her over the phone. Her daughter told me she, a little smile came to her face. I said, remember those days, Denise? And through all those 10 years as God was discipling us, and he had great women of God around us. I love all of you women out there in Phoenix. Thank you for mentoring us. Thank you for discipling us. Denise is with Jesus right now. I'm here and to honor her. But I will say, I spent a whole night on the beach after I talked with her. I said, Jim, he's never seen me do that before. I said, I need you, honey, to understand I've got to go be alone, didn't I? And you yes, you did. And you let me go, which was kind of odd. Like, I don't even know. It kind of just took over me. And I just spent the whole night on the beach. And it was chilly. And I was wrapped up with as much as I had to wrap myself up with. Nobody was on the beach but me. And I talked to the Lord. And I sang out loud, this <laughs> is my story. This is my song praising my Savior all the day long. I say, that was my dad's favorite song. I kept singing it. The sun comes up. People start coming out. People are jogging on the beach, getting their exercise going. I'm singing louder. This is my story. This is my song. I was like, oh, Lori. But, you know, I'm like, you to settle yourself down. But I'm like, wait a minute. No, I'm not ashamed of him. I hope somebody does. Hear it. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it was a time with him that I'll reflect and share with you as the weeks go on. We only have a few minutes left, honey. We have like five minutes. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. Man, so, your show fast goes fast. I, that's what I try to tell you. <laughs> we don't have time for a lot of stuff, so we have to go all over the place. But I want to say this, that in the time and we all, this is called, you said it, I think you said it best on, on the uh, time away. What did you say to me? Boy, if they could see you now, Lori. Well, you said, this is life with Lori. Yeah. And, and I want you to share more of that in the days to come. I will. Because you've got so much to say. I do. And you need to let the people know that you've been where they've been. I have. Almost anything has happened to them. Almost. You've gone through it. Yeah. And, and you've gone through a, a rocky road. Mm -hmm. And yet, I, I wanted to share on your show, maybe the next time, okay. if I ever come back. We'd love to have I, you back. I want to share the, what word the Lord gave me. I, well? I have, 
I I'm took looking my, at my time. I, I only have a few minutes. I took my prison Bible with me. You did. And, uh, you and did. I, I've got some pieces I would shocked. like to share with your audience. But I want you to. Will, but, you, will you? Maybe I can have you back. Okay. okay. Right away. And I want to say that the, my favorite scripture from prison yes. is I'll never, never leave you. Right. I'll never, never forsake you. Amen. And then the essence, God gave me new explosive scriptures. You know, the scriptures, is because the, the, the Bible's new all the time. Yes, it is. It's a revelation that's new. It's and it's just, so exciting. Whoa, you know, you get excited from you it. You do. And God says, I'll never, and it's triple negative. I always tell you about this, but it's, I'll never, never leave you. I'll never, never, never. It's three times that it means in, in the Greek. Yes. I'll never, never leave you. Never, yes. never forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5. That's the scripture. That's the address to that scripture. I'll tell you what, that keeps me alive. That's right. That's, that's why I can keep going. That's exactly right. So as we close today, I want to say to all of you, happy Valentine's Day. I pray that you have a beautiful day filled with love, love of family. If, if you're married, you have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, love of each other, but love of him most of all. I've never considered Valentine's Day just about a man and a wife. I've always considered it a time to love, love the Lord Jesus with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, because I have to say, Jim, as much as I love you, I love my Jesus more than I could ever love you. Yes, he's I, the you lover love, of our soul. He's the lover of our soul. And you love him more than you could ever love me. And that's and what anyway. makes for a beautiful marriage. Yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Yes. That's what we both prayed for before we met each other almost 21 years ago now. We met one another July 16th, 1998. <laughs> you know, I'm a date person. <laughs> it, you know, oh, when gosh. you share the love of Jesus, yeah. it, it, it's what it's all about. Yes. And that's what, it's all about. what you have the opportunity with this I'm show. So honored. And, so honored. And, and I, I brought your necklace that I gave you for your birthday. <laughs> yes. Uh, you with me. You did bring that I'm crystal sorry, heart but necklace, Jim. I, I have, have 30 a goal. seconds. I got to wrap I know, it up. I'm but sorry. I have a goal down, to, to put you all over the world on this show. Thank you. So the honey. women will have Life with Lord. So if you'd like to have this necklace, it's just for a gift of $40. It's gorgeous. To the ministry. You need to call this number, 1-888-777-3530. And they can order the clock today, too. And you can want. order the clock. And all of that, today's offering, will go to begin the syndication of wow. the Lori Show worldwide. Life with Lori. That's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to go now. We love you so much. And remember, what do you always say, honey? God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for now. We love you.